reason why the KLB is named after Kathleen Longsdale is because she was the very first female professor at UCL and she was also joint first female fellow of the Royal Society. Now the Royal Society is a very learned society that goes back to 1660 and it wasn't until 1945 when Kathleen Longsdale was elected to as a fellow of the Royal Society that women were elected. We're, we're very proud to be in the building named after Dame Kathleen Lonsdale. She was a crystallographer and her legacy very much lives on in the department. We continue to be fascinated by the structure of materials and especially uh, new forms of materials that are formed at high pressure, very much like the, the new mineral uh, named after her, Lonsdaleite, is something that's formed at high pressure, such as occurs in meteorite impacts and in the deep interior of the earth. And we're using this knowledge to figure out how the interior of the Earth might have, might have evolved to exhale the first ocean and make conditions for uh, macroscopic life possible billions of years ago. So the Kathleen Longsdale building has really been running for about the last six years, the whole refurbishment program, from initial conception all the way through to moving people out and then starting the reconstruction of the building. The, the refurbishment of the Kathleen Lonsdale building is a major transformation for the Department of Geological uh, Sciences. The department traces its history all the way back to the founding of, of UCL, and it's grown over the centuries. It had occupied as many as five different buildings around campus, actually. We're really happy with the quality of finish and the ability of the Earth Sciences Department to co-locate in the same place and also develop connections between different parts of the MAPS, which is Mathematical and Physical Sciences faculty, through to Earth Sciences, Chemistry, Mathematics. The renovation also brings tremendous benefits to all members of the department. We've got students who have new teaching labs, that can accommodate our specialized petrographic microscopes and analysis of hand samples, rocks, minerals, fossils, etc. The students also have new, uh, very lovely social spaces where they can hang out and study and chat, uh, but where they also have uh, very easy contact and access to their professors. The renovation is, is really special for, for the department. It, it, it really is a, a once in a sort of 200 year uh, event for us and we wanted to, to mark it in a special way. And so the way we decided to do that was to uh, place a skeleton of a dinosaur in the foyer, uh, where it will be visible to all visitors to the department. It's a Deinonychus, which was the star of Jurassic Park. It's a, a wonderful illustration, I think, of how we in the department deal with the geologic past. This is an animal that lived perhaps 100 million years ago. It's a reminder of, uh, of the, the central concern of what we do, uh, trying to figure out how life and Earth have co-evolved over these hundreds of millions of years. We are very fortunate and delighted that Sir David Attenborough was able to join us on the opening day, uh, the grand reopening of the Earth Sciences Department in the Kathleen Lonsdale Building. Uh, he had uh, words of, of great inspiration for students and staff alike. To most people, David Attenborough is the ultimate in scientific royalty. However, it's more than that because what pe people know David Attenborough a lot for all the work he does in zoology and in animals and in the health of the planet. But what probably people don't know is that at heart, and in fact for his degree, David Attenborough was a geologist and he studied geology and zoology at Cambridge, uh, in fact during the wartime years. And so in his heart, and in fact when he came round on a visit with us, he was asking very, very detailed questions about geology and really keeping even very advanced and skillful lecturers on their toes to be able to address the questions which he was able to pose. So he really for us was the ideal person. We also discovered during the day that David Attenborough also has his own fossil collection and he had his own rock collection. As a boy, that was one of his major passions. We were also very happy to be able to present Sir David with a model of uh, a new organism that researchers in the department, Professor Paul Bown and Dr. Jeremy Young, had named uh, after the Blue Planet series. It's a, a, a living uh, species of plankton and these animals are, are very small, but they occur in such numbers in the oceans that their blooms can be seen from space. And they're particularly important to us in Earth sciences because as they grow in the sea, they incorporate atoms from the surrounding water, and so we can use their shells as a time capsule for 
what conditions were like at the time they were growing. We chose to showcase different parts of the faculty and, and the research that's going on in the KLB building to David Attenborough during the day and he had examples from chemistry where he looked at surfaces which were very water repellent, the mathematics where he looks at various aspects of game theory, through to geology where he saw uh, rocks being smashed together under really, really intense gigapascal pressure, through to looking at new fossil collections um, in earth sciences. So it was a real showcase of all the activity that we have within the faculty and highlighting specific research um, agendas within that particular building. The Department of Earth Sciences is a relatively small department, but we span a wide variety of different subdisciplines within the Earth Sciences, and this creates a, uh, a remarkable uh, cauldron of interaction and um, mutual benefit between people studying ancient fossils, or people studying deep mineral structures, or people studying earthquakes, or indeed Arctic sea ice. And finding that commonality, finding that uh, somebody studying something of, of apparently a very different part of the Earth system actually has application to the part of the Earth that you're studying, emphasizes the fact that I think it is all one planet and the processes are all interlinked. And this is a, a, an inspiring view of the planet and, and one that is leading to important new insights. I just wanted to say thank you, thank you all. This is a privilege which I greatly value. Thank you very much indeed. One, two.